what is the primary purpose of the recovery position in first aid your options to clear airway obstructions to assess responsiveness to maintain an open airway or to prevent aspiration the right answer is to prevent aspiration the recovery position helps to keep the airway clear and reduce the risk of aspiration in a unconscious person next question which of the following is a symptom of heat exhaustion options hot dry skin profuse sweating pale skin or rapid wake pulse right answer is profuse sweating heat exhaustion is characterized by a heavy sweating as the body tries to cool itself next question what is the first aid treatment for a person having seizure options place a spoon in their mouth hold them down to prevent movement or move objects away to prevent injury or administer pain medication The right answer is move the objects away to prevent injury. Creating a safe space during seizure helps to prevent injury to the person. Next question. What should be done for a person with a suspected neck injury? The options move the person to a comfortable position, immobilize the head and neck, massage the neck to relieve tension or apply heat to the neck the right answer is immobilize the head and neck immobilizing the head and neck helps to prevent further injury to the spinal cord next question friends this is the second part of the most repeated 100 mcqs on first aid I'm sure that the first part will help you a lot to become more perfect at first aid MCQs. If you want to attend the first part then please click on the link given in the descriptions or you can click on the i button and please comment your score end of this video. Let's continue. Next question. What is the recommended treatment for a minor cut or scrap? Answer sir. Apply a tourniquet wash with a soap and water then apply a antiseptic ointment and a bandage rub dirt on the wound or ignore it as it will heal on its own the right answer is wash with soap and water then apply an antiseptic ointment and bandage it proper cleaning and protection help to prevent infection in minor cuts and scrapes next question what is the first step in providing first aid for a person who has fainted options elevate the legs administer cpr check for responsiveness or offer water to drink the right answer is check for responsiveness assessing responsiveness helps to determine the appropriate course for of action for a person who has fainted next question in the event of chemical eye exposure what is the recommended first aid measure your options rinse the eye with water for at least 15 minutes rub the eye to remove the chemical cover the eye with a bandage administer eye drops immediately the right answer is rinse the eye with water for at least 15 minutes rinsing the eye helps flush out the chemical and minimize damage next question is what is the correct way to assist a person experiencing shortness of breath The answers are encourage deep breathing, administer pain medication, apply a cold compress to the chest or elevate the legs. The 
correct answer is encourage deep breathing deep breathing can help elevate shortness of breath and promote oxygen intake next question how should you remove a tick embedded in the skin options burn it with the match apply petroleum jelly grabs it with the tweezers and pull straight out or ignore it it will fall off its own right answer is grabs it with tweezers and pull straight out use tweezers to grab the stick as close to the skin's surface as possible and pull upward with steady even pressure next question is what is the appropriate first aid for a person with a dislocated joint the options apply a hot compress attempt to relocate the joint immobilize the joint and seek medical help encourage the person to move the joint continuously or encourage the person to move the joint continuously the right answer is immobilize the joint and seek medical help immobilizing the joint helps prevent further damage and professional medical assistance is necessary for relocation next question what is the purpose of the fast acronym in the relation to the stroke recognition the options to remember emergency phone numbers to assess responsiveness to recognize and respond to the stroke symptoms or to perform chest compression the right answer is to recognize and respond to the stroke symptoms first word stands for f for face dropping a for arm weakness s for speech difficulty and t for time to call emergency services so first helping identify signs of a stroke next question when providing a first aid for a person with the nose bleed what position should they be in your options lying flat on the back leaning forward tilting the head back or standing upright the right answer is leaning forward leaning forward helps to prevent blood from flowing down throat and reduces the risk of swallowing blood next question what is the correct first aid response for a person with a b sting your options apply heat to the sting site scrape away the stinger with a credit card apply an antibiotic ointment or suck out the venom the right answer is scrape away the stinger with a credit card scraping away the stinger helps avoid squeezing more venom into the wound next question in the case of suspected broken bone what is the recommended way to immobilize the injured area the options splint the injured area with any available material encourage movement to prevent stiffness apply a tourniquet about the injury or use a rigid material to support the injured limb the right answer is use a rigid material to support the injured limb using a rigid material such as a board or splint helps to prevent movement and further injury to suspected broken bone next question is which of the following is a symptom of concussion the options clear fluid leaking from the nose dilated pupils loss of consciousness or persistent headache the right answer is persistent headache persistent headache is a common symptom of a concussion which may occur after a head injury 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द करेक्ट फर्स्ट एड रिस्पॉन्स टू अ जेली फिश स्टिंग ऑप्शन पावर वेनिगर ऑन द इफेक्टेड एरिया रब द स्टिंग साइट विद सैंड apply fresh water to the area or immerse the area in hot water the right answer is immerse the area in hot water hot water can help elevate pain and inactivate toxins from a jellyfish sting next question what is the primary purpose of cpr face shield options to keep the person warm to protect the rescuer from infection to administer oxygen or to open the airway the right answer is to protect the rescuer from infection a cpr face shield provides a barrier reducing the risk of infection transmission from the person receiving cpr to the rescuer next question how can you help a person experiencing a panic attack your options encourage slow and deep breaths ignore the person until the panic attack subsides provide a stimulant like coffee or instruct them to focus on the source of anxiety the right answer is encourage slow deep breaths deep breathing can help calm the person and alleviate symptoms of panic attack next question is how should you manage a person with a severe nose bleed options are tilt their head back apply pressure to their neck pinch their nostril together and lean them forward or ignore it nose bleeds are usually harmless the right answer is pinch their nostrils together and lean them forward pinching the nostrils and leaning forward helps to control bleeding and prevents blood from flowing down the throat next question is What is the appropriate first aid response for a person with a foreign object lodged in their eye? Your options: rub the eye vigorously, flush the eye with water for at least 15 minutes, cover the eye with a bandage or attempt to remove the object with tweezers. The right answer is Flush the eye with water for at least 15 minutes. Flushing the eye helps to remove the foreign object and minimize damage to the eye. Next question. What is the recommended first aid measure for a person experiencing hyperventilation? Your options. Instruct them to hold their breath. Encourage slow deep breaths. Provide a paper back to breathe into or ignore the person until breathing normalizes the right answer is encourage slow and deep breaths slow deep breathing can help to restore a normal breathing pattern during hyperventilation next question is what is the primary purpose of an aed automated external defibrillator in the first aid your options administer pain relief assist in cpr chest compressions restore normal heart rhythm through electrical shocks or measure blood pressure the right answer is restore normal heart rhythm through electrical shocks aeds are designed to deliver electrical shock to restore a normal heart rhythm in the case of sudden cardiac arrest next question is in the event of minor burn what is the recommended duration for a cooling the affected area with running water your options 5 to 10 minutes 30 seconds 
15 to 20 minutes or 1 to 2 minutes. The right answer is 5 to 10 minutes. Cooling a minor burn for 5 to 10 minutes helps to alleviate pain and minimize tissues damage. Next question is What is the purpose of Valsalva manure in first aid? Options Relieve stress, open the airway, treat chest pain, or restore normal heart rhythm. The right answer is open the airway. The Valsalva manure is used to open the airway, especially in cases of obstruction. Next question is How can you help someone experiencing an asthma attack? Your options Provide a caffeinated beverage, encourage them to lie down, administer an over the counter antihistamine, or help them to use their prescribed inhaler. The right answer is help them to use their prescribed inhaler. Using the prescribed inhaler is the primary intervention for relieving asthma symptoms during an attack. Next question, what is the appropriate first aid response for a person with dislocated shoulder? Your options, attempt to relocate the shoulder, apply a heating pad, encourage movement of the affected arm or immobilize the shoulder and seek medical help. Right answer is immobilize the shoulder and seek medical help. Immobilizing the shoulder helps to prevent further injury and professional assistant is necessary for proper evaluation and treatment. Next question is How should you manage a person with a sprained ankle? Options Encourage them to walk on it to promote healing. Apply heat to the injured area. Elevate the ankle and apply a cold compress or massage the area to reduce swelling. The right answer is elevate the ankle and apply cold compress. Elevation and cold compression to reduce swelling and promote healing in sprained ankle. Next question is what is the correct way to perform the Heimlich maneuver on a choking adult. Your options perform back blows, administer chest compressions, give abdominal thrust, or encourage drinking water. The right answer is give abdominal thrust. Abdominal thrust help dissolve a foreign object from the airway. Next question. What should be done for a person experiencing a diabetic emergency? Your options. Administer insulin. Offer sugary snacks. Elevate the legs. Or provide fluids with caffeine. The right answer is offer sugary snacks the sugary snacks can help to raise blood sugar levels in a diabetic emergency so friends please comment your score and if you like the session then please like subscribe and share our channel please visit our channel for more medical or nursing related mcqs or content thank you so much have a great time